Welcome to the Iconics Genesis 64 video guide. This video discusses how to configure and use the Gridworks 64 server. It covers creating both data sources and data manipulators. Let's configure the Gridworks 64 server for retrieving data out of the database. To start with, open the workbench. Select Gridworks 64 server from a provider and open the local host. Open the tree until you get to see the SQL Server connection. Do a right mouse click on it and select New Database Connection. Give the database connection a name. In our case, as we will be connecting to the Northwind sample database, we can call this actually Northwind. Then go to the Change Connection button Make a double click on SQL Server. If you have no connection defined here, then click on the plus sign so you can add a connection. Select entity authentication or whatever authentication you need to your database, and then you can select the database you want to connect to. In our case, it will be the Northwind database inside SQL Server. Click OK, select it, Click again OK, and we are done connecting to that database. To be sure the connection works, do a test connection. Connection succeeded, so everything is fine. Now let's create a data source. A data source is a handle which we can use for connecting to this database. So select the connection we just created, right mouse click on it, and select New Data Source. Here's the data source a name. In our example, it will be product. Then click on the edit command text button. Select simple SQL designer. You can select something else if you have already experience with this tool. For the this example, let's select a simple query. Clicking on the ellipsis, it opens all viewable tables. And if we want to retrieve data out of products, just select product and click OK. If we don't want to be retrieving all the data, just just select a few columns we can get data from. For example, product ID, product name, category ID, and unit price. Then if you go to record filtering, you can define a filter here. So let's create a filter that is dependent of a parameter. So you click on the plus sign to select on what column you want this filter to be active. We select category ID. We set this is set to be equal to not a constant but a parameter. Click here on the parameter button for a value and it suggests a name. This name as it is for us is good enough. So click OK. Click again OK. You can also put in a sorting, for example. You can say I want to have it sorted by unit price, ascending so that you have the smallest prices on top. Click OK. And then you can see the whole SQL query command. Click on test, select command, so you can see what will be the result. It will ask me to give an ID. So let's give it a value of one, for example, click OK, and you get the results. Close this window. For making this data source capable of accepting updates, we need to also enable updates here. So you click on update, select update command, leave it on SQL text, on the ellipsis, we select browse table, and we select the same table we had on the select command. And it will automatically retrieve all the parameters needed for an update. So once you're done with this and click apply. Now let's create a data item. A data item is an instance of data source with parameters already set so that you don't have to think about what are the possible parameters. 
So we click on the products with this right mouse click, add a data item, rename the item into, for example, category ID 1. You click on the parameters and you bind it to a value. In this example, we will bind it to the value of 1. Click OK. Click on the test button and you will get that return rows. And don't forget to click apply. Now let's create a data manipulator. Data manipulator objects are designed to manipulate database data and structure using stored procedures or SQL commands. For that, let's click and select new data manipulator. The data manipulator, we can give it a name. In our case, I will call it delete. We choose SQL text as a command type. Click on the ellipsis and you see the options you get. So I will browse for a table for delete. And as I am working all the time on the products table, I will select the products table. And it will automatically create the needed parameters for making a delete command. Don't forget to click on apply and here to make things right on refresh. These were the basics for the Quickworks server.